What if there was a place where nothing was impossible? Where you could build whatever you're crazy enough to imagine. A place where you could actually change the world. You want to go? I think that we wanted to make an old school adventure movie. I definitely think that there's sci-fi sci elements in it, but it, I, we wanted it to feel a little bit more like Close Encounters did, um, a, a sense of discovery. It's sort of like a throwback adventure in a way. Um, I think people will enjoy it. As uh, end of the world movies go, it's, it's the upbeat one. <laughs> it is a little upbeat. I do like an upbeat end of the world film. You know, you don't get those all that often. There's nothing more exciting than someone who's leading sort of a relatively mundane life and then they get a glimpse of a world beyond. Okay. That's not mine. What's not yours? The pen. I've never. Building the world was obviously difficult, and when you're trying to do something original, you're staring at a blank page. There isn't, uh, there isn't something to base it on. There isn't a movie that came before it or a comic book to adapt. So while that's enormously exciting, it can be very, very daunting as well. Once you get on a large canvas uh, these days, it's, it, it's kind of like uh, you, you need to be a familiar name or you know a sequel or a remake or a reboot. And this was an opportunity to have. Uh, a large canvas, but do something absolutely new. And I think that's what attracted George Clooney to it. First and foremost, it was to work with Brad Bird. Great guy, wonderful talent. I loved the idea, I loved the themes of the movie. I liked that it was original for some of them. I wanted to do it. It was just a great experience. And there was, I worked with an amazing crew, and amazing cast, and yeah, everyone was just so fun to work with. What do you want? I want you to take me to the place I saw when I touched this. Where'd you get that? I know that you were there. Who are you, kid? They followed you here? Who? John Francis Walker! You are now harboring a fugitive element. Release her to our custody. You have one minute to comply. Aside from yourself and Hugh Laurie, you've got some incredible young uh, actors as yeah. well. I mean, uh, seeing them come through must be a treat. Well, I don't care for them, I'll tell you that right off the bat. I don't, I don't like the young ones. Uh, Rafi's unbelievable. Britt's fantastic. The kids were amazing actors, so really fun. Britt was like a big sister to me. I had so much fun. And I'm like, she's like an idol. She's just amazing. George had so much fun working with him. He's really, really talented. He's just like, Wow. It was very, very good fun. Um, for whatever reason, villains are generally speaking more fun to play than heroes. Um, I wouldn't know actually. I don't have a lot of experience of playing heroes. It feels kind of like a Disney ride to me. It feels like, you know, this really awesome story and it's told with, with exciting, fun things. Um, but it also has a really sweet message. It's a fun ride, and that's the that's sort of the job we do is to try to give people two hours of a fun ride. I think it says that that we're in control of shaping our future, and that's uh, not what people say as much anymore. But I think they should, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you wanted to see Tomorrowland. Here it comes. <laughs>